I am Jasmine Masters, and I have something to say. I'm going to get this really quick as fast as possible. Okay. My time on Drag Race was amazing, okay? I had a wonderful time. I'm very happy and proud of myself for making it on the show, meeting the girls I met, and doing what I had to do. I didn't check out a Drag Race. I was not uh, giving up. I needed to get home to check on my family. Um, I've seen a lot of things on TV, like with uh, Frankie Grande being on Big Brother, receiving a letter, <clears throat> excuse me, saying that his uh, grandfather passed. He stayed there. Um, I was saying, uh, during the play, I didn't play a character, which was so, the name was so close to my own family member's name, till I kept saying their names. So I'm thinking things happen in threes, like what is going on at home? I'm saying their names all the time. I'm watching Big Brother with the letter. I'm in the same boat that this guy is in. So my, my, my nerves got the best of me. So I didn't sleep at all that night. So we had to wake up in the morning and film. I didn't know nothing because my mind wasn't set there. My mind was somewhere else. My mind was what's going on at home. So I already checked out. I checked out in my room with the race. Um, so that's why I was packing my stuff because I wanted to get home to see what was going on. And I love my family. I can't even express the love that I have for my family because I have a lot of friends from when I was growing, coming up in the gay world from 93 who parents had put them out because they were gay. They were sleeping on the streets. They were sleeping in people's cars, sleeping with different men or just doing whatever they could do to survive. My family didn't do that to me. They let me, they treated me like I was no different. And I learned more about love then than I knew before. They, I came into the gay world and knowing about people getting put out. I didn't know that. I never witnessed it, experienced that. So when I was on the show, I just felt like something was going on with my family that I needed to know about. And I felt like I was abandoning them because I wasn't there to help. Cause I always been, I'm always there to help my family. I don't care if it's a new pair of shoes, new socks, pencils, paper, whatever my, somebody in my family need, I give it to them. Um, recently I had posted up about me having to tell a friend of my mother that her kid passed away, you know, four years ago. When I told her that she, Passed out once we told her and gave her the obituary. She just passed out. Well, yesterday I had a chance to go by the house and talk to her again and see her, make sure she's okay. We had long conversations. I told her everything she needed to know, but she just feels so bad. She did reveal to me that during that time, she found out her husband was cheating on her, had a baby on the way, found out her 16 year old daughter was pregnant, and then she found out her, her uh, son was gay. So she said that was just so much pressure on her. Either she needed to leave or she was going to kill herself. So she did something told her just to go ahead and leave. Um, but she really regret the fact that she put her child out, you know, like that and found out that he's dead. She's not well with that at all. She's not good at all. And I just want to tell, <clears throat> excuse me, anybody out there, no matter who we are, what we do, who we love, we still deserve to have our family and to be loved by our families. You don't have to agree with our lifestyles, but who said we agree with your lifestyles? No one is perfect. The only time you're perfect is when you're dead. And all of us are still alive because we all bleeding and we all still peeing. So I know it's hard for parents to accept that their son or daughter may be gay or whatnot. And they think about what others may say or what others may think. Fuck the others. That is your baby. That is your child. That is your brother. That is your sister, your uncle, your nephew, your grand. It don't matter. That is yours. Love them for who they are and let's keep on living. Don't put your kids out into the streets. Let me tell y'all something about this gay world. Y'all think the straight world is, is real? The gay world is fucking real. You hear me? Because when you put your kid out there when they're so young, all these fine ass men... When you're young like that, you just say, oh my God, this man, or, you know, when you're young, we looking for a father figure or whatever the figure may be. And then they getting used up by all these grown ass men. And then they getting put on drugs or they getting trains ran on, on them or whatever the case may be. It's not right. It's just not right. I got a lot of friends that have been through a lot. And I'm so thankful that I didn't go through that, but I'm so thankful that I was there to support them and I had their backs and I learned from that. That's why I'm the type of person where I don't give a damn what the next person is doing. If your ass is happy, you happy. I'm happy. 
I love myself, all my flaws, everything about me. And that's what I think everybody needs to start doing is loving them for themselves. Who gives a fuck what the next person is going to say and think? Just love yourself for yourself. You will see life a lot brighter. You will be you will accept things more. You can take drama and bullshit because they won't even it'll be off your shoulder. Love yourself no matter what. And we need our parents to love us because we are your child. We are human. We have hearts. We have feelings. And it hurts. It's very scary out here in the world as it is. But not to have your family with you is even, t it's, it's, I can, I couldn't deal with it. I cannot deal with it. I would never in my life do anything else where I cannot pick up the phone and ask my family, what is going on? Are you okay? Do you have a, a cough? Takes an alka call plus with warm water. I cannot and I will not ever do anything like that again because I feel like I abandoned them. When they all knew I always do things to make a better life for me, to make a better life to, for them, to help them any way I can, I would never do nothing like that again because I didn't feel good at all. So if you... um, Families, we really need to get it together. We really do... you. You don't know how your kid or your cousin or your nephew or whoever it may be out there that's not home with the family. You don't know their pain. And I'm pretty sure it's tough as hell because I hear from people all the time. So you need to go find your kids and really love your kids and tell them, I'm sorry, we're going to work through this. And be proud that you have a gay kid because everyone cannot say, oh, I have my child is gay. Not every parent can say that. Take that as being a blessing. You have one special kid who is gay and they love themselves and you love them for it. Gay is a beautiful thing. It's not a terrible thing. And people make it seem like, oh, they confused. They don't know. No, we're not confused. We know who we are. We love just like you do. We just love differently. And actually not even differently. We just love the same sex or we may want to be a different sex and love the same sex. However the case may be, we have a heart that beats just like yours. We got to really get it together. When I made a statement about me quitting drag or taking a break from drag, I've been doing drag, I think, since 93. Nah, fucking stop. Just going, 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 going. I want to take at least six months of my time while I'm on this platform. Talk to some people about building some type of home or something where we can allow you to come in who get put out who don't have education, who don't have nowhere to shit, shower, shave, no food. I want to do something like that. I would rather make sure the youth is have a safe spots to go because there's a lot on the street today that don't have it. I have a lot of cousins that's growing. I don't know if they gay now. I don't know what's going on. If they're going to have kids later in the future, they're going to be gay. But I would like to know I did my part to make it safe for them. For if it does happen, they won't have to go through the stuff that some of us are going through today or some of the stuff has been through in the past. That's what I mean by taking a break. Not just, oh, we're going to, you know, you say some things, but some people want to take it around with it. Stop running with shit sometimes. That's the problem. You can't say nothing about somebody getting something up their fucking ass and not knowing what you mean by it. And I just have to break it down so you can understand. Just be happy. Oh, this bitch going to take a fucking break. My break is I want to do something to help the community. Period. Because I'm on a platform. I'm not going to let it go to race. I'm going to fight till I get something done or make some type of noise. I don't want to argue with nobody. I don't want to go through all that bullshit because all that shit don't even matter to me. I just don't have time for it. So with this being said... I want parents to really take into heat what I said. I had to tell a mother that her son had passed away four years ago. She had no idea. You don't want that on your heart. You don't want that on your mind. You don't need that in your soul. So please, let's get it together and understand we are human. We all bleed. We all pee. We love each other. And that's what we need to be focusing on. It's, it's love. Period. Bottom line, cut and dry. I always said that people... Had a little piece of God, and my pop said this too. If people had a piece of God, the world would be a better place. Everybody would be happy. It won't be all this shit going on, these riots and stuff. The world is getting crazier and crazier by the second. And we're not helping and we treat each other like shit. I'm done with this video now. 
I said my piece. So anyone who wants to know why I left Drag Race, that's why. Because I felt like I was neglecting my family. I felt like something was going on that I needed to know. And I didn't feel right. Because it was just too much going on with TV. That is how my mind played. I'm sorry. My mind did that to me. And I checked out. But I enjoyed my time on the show. I don't regret anything. Anything you may have seen me say on the show. I said it. I meant it. But you didn't see what happened before. I wish everyone love. I wish everyone peace. I, live, I wish everyone happiness. I'm out of here. I'm Jasmine Masters, and I have something to say.